In this video, we're going to make from start to finish a canteen menu system. So we'll go on a television, maybe behind a school canteen, and it'll scroll through different menus from Monday, Tuesday, yada, yada, yada. Right. The first thing you're going to need to do is design what is happening on each day. So um, in our school here, what we've done is I've got made a little tiny URL, tinyurl.com forward slash STJ lunchtime. And that will bring you to a little menu there. So you'll need to scan what is on each day. And yeah, or just go talk to the canteen ladies or whoever's there. So next step is to turn this into some slides. So we need to make a little picture because our website's going to scroll across some pictures. So you can do this the easiest and fastest way to do this is on Google Slides. So you just make some slides and you put in the, the canteen menu stuff. And then when you're done with that, you can just click here and you want to export it. So just download it as um, PNG images, current slides or all slides, do you know what I mean? And you can just save those files to a folder and then you're going to use those as pictures in your website. The other, not, probably nicer way to do it, although it takes a bit longer, I'm not really sure if it's practical, is to use Canva. So design-wise, some tips, and I'll put these in the video description. It's really nice to use Canva, I suppose, to match the colors. So let's say I just made this. It's kind of colorful and easy to read, but it's a bit all over the place. So um, I was able to match it. Look how much nicer this one looks. And I was able to just match it up like so. So all you do is you just pop into your Canva thing here. You click on the, the color, let's say this purple. I can, I can mix, I can pick that purple to be exactly this by just hovering over it. See the drop tool? I can make it this color and it'll match up with his skin or, you know, I could uh, match it up. I've decided to match it up with whatever that thing is that he's eating. You also want to make sure that you've got a color palette so your colors aren't completely all over the place. Um, and this little website here will give you a load of different um, palettes. You can just go beep, beep, beep. I mean, just keep, I think you just keep hitting spacebar, isn't it? Yeah. Hit spacebar, maybe this palette, maybe this palette, this palette. You really want a few different colors, but no more than, you know, four or five colors. It's like when you're painting a room. But the way I tend to do it is I tend to just find a really nice GIF first, like this. And then uh, after I put in my GIF, I match the colors to the GIF, you know, because someone else has made the GIF and it looks really nice. So I just I just make the text match up. Um, and the last thing is you want to make sure that you can read your text. So so here under effects, I've made this kind of have a neon glow, you know, and you can you, you just want don't want to have it like that's oh my gosh, that hurts my eyes. Uh, it's a little bit better, but it's still probably too too dark. I feel like this glow gives a good contrast. Like a really good tip, right, is just to hold down control and scroll out, right? If you can read that clearly, then, you, you know, you've done it right. You should be able to read everything when you zoom out. See, I can still read that text from 10 meters away because you got to think people at the back of the queue are going to need to see this, all right? So that's probably enough for the design phase. If you, if you, if you want to, you know, download these, you just click download here under share. So I'm just going to assume at this point you've got your pictures. And now I'm going to go on to the website part. So under REPL here, REPL.com, I'm just going to make a new HTML website. Just call it whatever menu. And menu, sure, why not? You make the website like this, and you'll see that REPL by default will split your code into some HTML, which is the content, some script, which is animations, and some style, which is how to make it pretty. Um, when you look at examples online, they often just combine these all into the HTML um, document into index. So they break them up into sections here. But look, it's fine. Um, now, I need to uh, insert a gallery here, it's like a scrolling gallery. Um, and I'm going to have one page for Monday, one page for Tuesday, one page for Wednesday. So the first thing I'm probably going to need is to come up with like a navigation bar, something that where I can click on the different days, do you know? Um, so let me do that. So there's a few different ways you can do this. I mean, probably the best way is to just go Google W3 schools navigation bar, and you'll see a lot of examples here, 
all right and then see down under here try it yourself it's actually programmed as a list with the different um with a different days on it but uh, let me like uh, uh, yeah i think that's okay i could use something like this let me scroll down and see if there's any other ones there's a vertical one down the side and here's a horizontal one i'm gonna go for this horizontal one i think it's the one i'm gonna go for right so i'm into this one here and i've just chosen this one with little lines and i quite like that so i just click try yourself and open up this window and it's giving me some sample code right what you got to understand is the following um this is the html section okay and right now what they're doing is they're putting like all the style stuff from the beginning of style to the end of style i'm gonna just copy that go back to my website right and my style sheet is in here so i'll put all my style stuff in there like that i don't need the actual style tags because that's just to tell me that this goes in this document right now if i run it again it's well it's not gonna make a difference because i've just changed the style but i haven't actually changed the content so let me go back to my example here now everything in the head here in the body so i'm gonna yeah this is the actual content i mean i'm gonna put this just somewhere in the body this is my list i copy this so i'm gonna go back to my website under html anywhere in the body will be fine there's the start of the body there's the end of the body i'm just gonna collapse the head here so, so it's not confusing people so I'm gonna make some space here. I can't delete this because this links my HTML to my script. I don't have any script right now, but if I wanna do animations later, I better, I better leave that there. Great, so just above here is fine. I'm gonna go to control V, v or, or paste in here. Um, and let me just see what happens now. You have to bear with me. There's canteen, an active canteen situation behind me. So, um, relevant. Uh, all right, home news contact. So I just need to change this to, you know, the, the days of the week, all right? Ahref, ahref is hashtag news. That's gonna be the name of my my day, I guess. So I'm gonna call that, it's gonna be monday.html because I'm gonna make that document. Uh, I might just keep it like lowercase, monday.html. And the text is going to appear as Monday. All right, and you, can you see what I'm going to do here? In fact, I'm pretty sure if I had an AI here, it probably would just tell me. So Tuesday goes here. And don't forget, these need to have HTML after each one of them, the ones in red here, because they're going to link to some pages. Now, I actually haven't made this yet. So let's try this out. And look, it works just fine. Right, there's my menu and there's an about thing there at the end because you can see it says about um i don't need that about um, i might have like an automatic mode i suppose that's what that's something i could do is just detect what day it is and i'll just call it auto i'll figure that out later i'm not sure exactly how i'm going to do that but you know auto cool does that sort of make sense so I press go and you can see there's auto mode. Lovely. Um, I'm, you know, it's probably a good idea to do have a page on here for instructions. So under here, I could be like instructions, how to use this website. Cool. So I've added some instructions there and it might be a good idea to just put in, you know, your website because you're putting your own name because uh, if a few websites have been run in the canteen, it's nice to get a bit of credit. So the biggest mistake you can do now is to start copying this over from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, blah, 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 blah. Um, you really want to make one page. So just start off with Monday and make Monday really, really good and then copy that a whole bunch of times. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this page. Don't start off again. See, so you, you kind of get what I mean? Like you, you want to do it once and then copy it rather than having to repeat all of what we just did five times so i'm going to duplicate this file and i'm going to call this one monday monday to html which links up with this and you can see now when i click on monday it'll go to this web page oh just make sure um there is something different about it immediately because if you don't uh have it as a different 
has anything different, you'd be like, I clicked in it and then nothing happens. And you're like, oh yeah, that's because it's these two are identical. So immediately um, go in and where it says instructions or whatever, you want to just put in, you know, uh, just placeholder. This is for Monday. Why can't I, mon I keep talking wrong? Monday, moon day. And I press go, it says this is for Monday. And I go back. Oops, I actually made a mistake here and I forgot. Um, href equals home. That needs to be index.html. Right? Because it's going to link back to this. And see, now I've made the mistake. Cause I've made one mistake and I have to do it twice. I should have fixed this before copying. Um, hopefully you will. So index.html. Lovely. And now what I run, my home button will work. So Monday. We'll go to Monday. I got home. This will be just the instructions, you know. I can might even want to call this like home page, just so I know. Deadly. The next thing I need to do now is to get a carousel of pictures, and I'm going to do that for Monday. So for Monday, I'm going to show two items, but it may be that you need, you know, five slides uh, going across the screen because there's too much to show on Monday. Um, for a school canteen, it's pretty unlikely you're going to be able to fit everything for Monday on one TV screen. Do you know what I mean? Because the menu is always bigger than that. So while you could use small writing, it kind of defeats the point because this is for a TV. The people want people to read if it's small. So you probably do need a, a, a carousel. So I'm going to just Google some examples of that, put it in and change the picture. So I'm just going to Google here carousel HTML like I think they call it a slideshow now while this will give you something here I think uh, is it on this one it doesn't necessarily scroll automatically you've got to click it and that's no good for a canteen menu right because they they need to to leave it on the TV playing so I just go back and scroll down here the one I saw automatic slideshow okay this is what I'm gonna use Right, so let me just separate this out because it's all together. So I need to separate this out into different files. So my first thing I need to do is get the style. I'm going to just, there's style and see where this ends. So down, 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 down. And there's where the style ends, right? So I'm going to copy everything, but not the actual style thing itself. Everything in here. I'm just going to go copy, go into my website. And in Monday, uh, well, actually, this, there's only one style document. So now some of these might be duplicates, but it's fine. it's fine. Just go underneath there and just paste that in there. Okay. It kind of messed with my colors, but you know what? Like, it, it's fine. Um, and don't worry about this going on to the next slide because, look, on a TV, that's going to be much bigger. All right? In fact, it's going to be quite big. But that's a, that's a future problem about scaling and things. All right. So that's that part of it. Um, that was my style. The next thing I need to do is to get, what's this, the body? Okay, so automatic slideshow. So this is the actual HTML code that goes in index.html. And it goes all the way down to don't go past script. Okay, so from there, everything in the body, just copy that, go back into your website, and under Monday, there's your menu, so you can leave that down there. Um, and I'm going to put this in here and see what happens. So next part is script. Under script, everything from there down to here, copy. And put that in your script file. Again, you don't include the actual forward slash backslash script things. Okay, now run and see if um, you go to Monday. And there's the automatic slideshow. Actually. Yeah, of course I wasn't showing up before. I was on home instead of Monday. So it's trying to load in some pictures here, which is great. All I need to do now is put in some pictures. So let me do that. So I just go into my slides, whatever I want to do. I click download and just download as like a, a PNG is fine. And then this next one I'm going to download. I'm just doing the ones from Monday for now. And then you can click into downloads and find them in your folder here. And what I'm going to do is just drag those up onto uh, in, into REPL, right? So what I'll do is I'll just put this here and I'll open back up 
um, REPL, which is over here. And I'm going to drag my pictures in there. Great. So this is, I'm going to just rename this as, you know, M1, because this is Monday slide one. And this is going to be M2, Monday slide two. Now, you'll notice that it doesn't show the file extensions. That should be .png. Windows likes to hide those, but they, they are there, right? Under view, if you see file extensions, you see that's what they're actually called. Just watch out because sometimes then you, you'll add up your own, it'll, it'll double up. Great. Um, I could put a, make a pictures folder in here, but I'm just gonna try to put them straight in. M1, M2. Now go back in here, and I need to link up to make sure the names are right. So I go into my monday.html, and I'm going to try and find where the names of things. Oh, yeah, look, this must be it here, right? So imager, image nature. Okay, it's not that. I've got mine's called m1.png. And there's mine. Anything dot jpeg or dot png is a picture. So this must be the second picture. M2 dot jpeg. Or no, mine's png. I don't have a third one, so it's probably going to just freak out. Um, but let me just see what happens so far. All right, brilliant. And then it's changing to the next one. Yeah, it's a bit laggy, but it's all there. And slide three is glitching out because, you know, it doesn't exist. But that that is fine. The only thing is I say it's a little bit too fast. So where it says change slide every two seconds here, I'm going to try and find where's the code that slows it down. So the, the, the number two must be somewhere in this code to tell it that there's a two second pause. Um, and I imagine that might be in the script over here. Okay, so can I find the number two there? 2000, I think that that is milliseconds. Yeah, so if I change this to like four, and then press go again, that should be four seconds, 4000 milliseconds. There you go. Nice. Brilliant. So now that that's working for Monday, all I want to do is just duplicate that a bunch of times. Oh, I should just check that the size is okay. All right, let's have a look. If I make it nice and big, because it's going to be on TV. Yeah, that's all right. This is scrolling and getting bigger. I can get rid of this text now. See the automatic slideshow? It does not need to be there anymore. So rather than me having to delete this whole bunch of times, I better clean this up. Your Monday is your most important slide because whatever makes, mistakes you make in here are going to be duplicated five times. So make sure this slide is absolutely perfect before duplicating it. So I need to find where it says automatic slideshow change every two seconds. I don't need that anymore. I just, because this is now going to be on the canteen. So I really don't need all this text. And this is from Monday, Sponge Magoo. Uh, I think I'm just going to get rid of this. All right. Don't delete the script though. You do need that part. All right, so there we go. All right, there is Monday. And yeah, it works pretty good. All right, I, I think the change maybe would be the background. Caption three. To say there, oh, caption text. Oh, I can put in like Monday, can I? Interesting. All right, though, you know, maybe I could get rid of where it says caption two and yada 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 yada. See this caption text. All right, yeah. So, what I could do as a placeholder is I could put in like Monday here, like Monday one, Monday two, but you know what? I probably would advise you just to completely delete these lines because you don't read really necessary I mean this is good for debugging things you know so I'm just gonna fill in that third picture and then show you how to duplicate that onto Tuesday and then really at that point I'll probably kind of fast forward it um, because you know that that'll be most of it I'm just renaming this one here to M3 and again just watch out that I wish they just left file extensions why, why is that not default Anyway, M3 is going to go into my uh, my code here. So I just pop over to my code and there's M1, M2. And I just drag in this here, M3. So let's go in and just make sure that links up correctly. M1, M2, 
Oh, that's not right. This should be M3. M3 dot PNG. So now I've got one and then two, three, and it should fill in. There's two. And there's three. Deadly. And thanks, Aaron, for letting me borrow your slides. So you can see here, um, Aaron has got actually five slides per, per day, which is probably more realistic, but I'm just going to do three for now. Can I select all three and download? Let's try that. No, you can't. So I just click download on this guy here. I download this as a slide. So you're just downloading each of these slides. You kind of have to do it individually if you're using the Google here. You have to click on them, make sure they're selected, and then click download. If you're using Canva, you want to do it here by clicking share and just download. And then you've got to do the actual number. So make sure, you know, it's the right slide you're downloading. Is that right? So I've got my downloads here. And again, I'm just going to rename them to be something more appropriate. So Tuesday one, Tuesday two, Tuesday three. Brilliant, and that'll make the coding part a lot easier. So now I just drag my three pictures for Tuesday into my files on REPL. They're all uploaded there now. And now I need to do one of these for Tuesday. So you go to Monday, which is, seems to be working just fine. And you right click on it and you say duplicate file. And instead of calling it Monday copy, you call it Tuesday. I try to keep everything lowercase just as a rule. Ah. Something I've discovered twice is you have to hit enter on REPL. You can't just click off it. Done. So um, now I need to go back in there and just change that to Tuesday 1, Tuesday 2, Tuesday 3. And I've done most of the work here now. Look, so I go to Tuesday. Scroll down where it says M1, M2, M3. Just change that to T1, T2, and T3. And let's press run and test it out. So here's my one for Monday. That's working fine. Okay, and I've like Tuesday. It should be Tuesdays. Oh, I actually forgot to do the, the text at the bottom. That is a different menu. So this here should say Tuesday. Do you know what? Actually, I don't really like that text there. So I'm just going to delete it. I don't necessarily need it there. It doesn't need to be it was okay for a reminder for myself but like so now i go to tuesday and there's tuesday so the right and let's test it out into kind of a big screen you can see it looks into like a big screen really nice um i probably want to do something with the color of that top bar maybe but you know yeah all right great I did notice actually I made a small mistake when I downloaded it from Google Slides. I downloaded this one as a JPEG .jpg instead of PNG. That's no bothers at all. All I can do is go where it says T3. I think a JPEG will work just fine. So it doesn't really it doesn't really care. They just have to be consistent. It has to be the same. So Tuesday now we should get to one two three. Um, if you want to change the color of this here at the top you'll find that under style so you see just find the thing look background color so maybe I want it to be the same as this so I click dropper here let's try that okay now run it oh pretty nice it's kind of a faded blue but I think it looks a lot nicer um, and don't forget, if you've got really nice pictures like chips, you can make certain things chip color. I don't know what there's. Oh, this is the active thing, so that's the background. So I'm going to make this, whatever I'm choosing, the same color as chips. There's my chips. And then when I run it, whatever one I'm on at the moment should be. Well, it's not quite working, but you know, you play around with these colors anyway, and you can you can kind of spot what is what by the name. Like this is a list, um, but mainly because you can just tell, well, that's that one because it's that color. Cool. All right. So we're almost there at the end, but they will be in yours. I just need for the next part where it chooses a random day or like it automatically does the day. 
um, I want that to to actually work. So I actually do need. Why do you have to press return? You click out of it, should work. Thursday, enter. There, take your blood money, enter button. And then duplicate this file one last time to Friday. When you do it, you're gonna have TH1 for Thursday or whatever you wanna do and um, F for Friday. I'm, I'm not gonna do these pictures. So um, let's talk about the automatic, the automatic um, part of this. So I'm just going to ask ChatGPT here, and give us a bunch of code, because this is a little bit specific. I'm sure you could find it online, but look, ChatGPT is a fine tool, tool to use for this sort of thing. So I'm just saying for some code, we'll run five different slideshows on a web page, depending on what day it is. Great, so I'm gonna take just some of this out of here. Um, you, can, you can see that it's doing it on one web page, whereas I've got a separate script thing. So first thing I need to do is just to take the HTML code which is this here. These are my five slideshows. I'm gonna to need to make a new page called automatic and you'll load this page. So let's go, let's get, let's say Monday. I know Monday works pretty well. So I'm gonna duplicate this one. And instead of calling it Monday, I'm just gonna call it auto.html. I go into this one here and you can see this is my navigation bar up here. That's fine. Um, I may want to remove that later, but it's fine. Or I can make it auto hide. I'm gonna. This is my slideshow container, and but instead of uh, of having this here, um, I'm gonna just go all of this. Bye 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 bye. Uh, delete. So I've got my nav bar, JavaScript link down here, and I'm gonna put in this. These are my Monday, Tuesday, blah, blah, blah. Now it, it says image one, image two, and you can remember what this is gonna be, right? This is gonna be m1.png. Um, and this is gonna be m2.png. And don't worry about the alt text. That's basically, if there's an error and it doesn't load, it just shows you that some, some error text saying this was supposed to be Monday image one. They also use alt text for accessibility options, meaning that like if someone has uh, poor vision and they're listening audio wise to your thing, they'll hear this narration of what the image is supposed to be. Cool. Um, and then let's go back into the JavaScript part of that. It says we need some JavaScript here, right? So we're going to get all of this, copy it, and we're going to put it in to the JavaScript file. See script.js put this down here all right now there's already had some stuff in there so show slides was a function I want to make sure there's not already I haven't like accidentally duplicated one and put in a slow shot no it looks okay I guess we'll I guess we'll find out well let's see no it is saying Goujons from Monday oh yeah so I found out what the issue there was basically this bit of JavaScript code, it hides all the slides. But, you know, that has to go at the start to hide everything. Uh, so it can't, this, this has to be after it. So you select all of this stuff here, and then go down, give you some space, paste it in there. And that will work now. So when I run auto, you can see this is running the one for for Thursday, I might um, I might put in just, just to to check. I'm just not sure. Like, I I mean, I do think that is working. Like, um, but if you're not sure if that's working, see this is class equals text. Could you put something like that back in, to the auto one? I wonder would that work. Just to, to check yourself. Like this should be Thursday, right? So can I put in a, class equal text. Uh, should be Thursday, you know, which today is. So I don't know if that worked. Let me give it. Let me give it a go. Yeah, brilliant. That's kind of working now. All right. Um, I was actually showing to to, but look, it's it it's fine. Right. I see where ChatGPT kind of half answered the 
task question, but didn't quite finish it off. So it is showing us something on Friday and something on Thursday. I'm now doing this on Friday, by the way. So a day has passed in my term. Um, so it's showing me two images, and that's what I'm seeing. When I press run on auto over here, it's showing me one picture, then another. There's one picture, then another. But that's supposed to be a slideshow, isn't it? Like, remember what we did for Monday. The code from Monday was not two pictures. It was all of this. Look, class slideshow. My slides fade. One to three, two to three, do, 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 all this. So it really needs this chunk for each of the days in your auto. So I'm just going to copy this. Now, look, my days are going to be Monday instead of Friday. But look, I'll leave you figure that out. Um, so I go back into my auto here. And today's Friday, right? So I suppose you could change the date in your PC to, te to test it. I'm gonna delete um, this here. I can leave the should be Friday just <laughs> so I, I know uh, it works. I'm gonna, I've just pasted it in. So I'm just going right click and pasting in that giant chunk of stuff from Monday. This is the, the slideshow from Monday, right? See Monday slideshow. Right now, let's give it a go. I know that's going to be a bit long, but look, you're going to have to do the, the slideshow code for Friday, the slideshow code for Monday, and, and, and each one. Kind of, I mean, look, it's long, but what are you going to do? Let's go into auto and run auto, and just we'll just see now. So now it is an actual slideshow. Okay. The text should be Mondays. No, I mean, actually, now would be good. See where I said Monday 3. Now would be a good time to, to leave that diagnostic information down there. I'll probably delete it. Okay. I don't need the, these sort of things. So that's it. That is, that's it working. So you've just kind of got to do this, except do this for every single day. You know? Um, yeah. That, I know that's going to be a little bit messy. So if you just go, go and find um, under under Friday, this is Monday, this is Tuesday, this is Wednesday, this is Thursday, and this is Friday. Now in Friday, I've copied in all of this. So you're going to have to do that, unfortunately, <laughs> that for Thursday, that for, where is Wednesday? Wednesday, that for oh my god, I see. I, I think I, I am not checking, taking care of my, my tags here. Um, let me just it's a good idea to delete it first and then put it in. Okay, anyway, look, I'm getting some errors, but you're gonna have to kind of work your way through that. And this is look, this is the trickiest part of the the task of the project is getting all that in. Now, look, maybe go back to chat GPT and say, hey, dude, you gave me two photos. That should have been slideshows, you know, you can get better code. But um, I don't want to give you the entire entire solution. Honestly, if you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, Friday with clickable slideshows, you've done, you've done the, the work. The auto here is just for showing off, you know. Um, so the next stage here, and the most important stage is to bring this to whoever is in the canteen and get some feedback, you know. You test it out yourself, get some feedback because you might find it looks okay in an iPad, but then when you make it really big, you know, it starts getting like this or something. <laughs> and you're like, oh no, what happened? <laughs> right, so you do have to test it out on an actual big screen or tally. Right, well look, that is everything and best of luck with it.